we've been doing that for so long now that nobody can see that it doesn't matter. You can buy Intel or you can build your own fabs and you can use them for a much longer period of time. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Much totally, longer. I totally agree. In fact, um, so like our AI4 chip, which is like relatively primitive at this point, um, the same fab that makes that, uh, if we apply the, the AI6 logic design to, to the fab, which is, it's a five, sort of nominally five nanometer fab, yep. um, we can easily get an order of magnitude better output in the same fab. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing concurrent with that is that the volume, if you just 50x the number of chips, can you do something useful with it? You used to not be able to. You'd be like, well, now I've got five CPUs, but I still have the same single threaded code. What am I going to do with five Excel spreadsheets you know, side by side? Now it's like, no, yeah. I can translate that into useful intelligence. Yes, exactly. It's not constrained by humans. It's, 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 a, it's, not, it's not a human productivity amplifier. It's an independent productivity generator. Dead right. I, I, so many people uh, have missed this, the, the importance of this. And this is where China, you know, China makes far more solar panels than we do. And we're like, well, like well they'll never degree, catch up. crazy degree, actually. It's a crazy degree. Crazy degree. If they yeah. do that in chips, you're like, well, but who cares? They're seven nanometer. Like, oh, no. It's, wrong. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, based on current trends, uh, China will far exceed the rest of the world in uh, AI compute. So that's so not good. What happens then? You've got you got XAI and Google and China Inc. Let's call it that for the moment. And you've got massive amount of of, of ASI level compute that, frankly, uh, the only thing that understands the other ASI level compute is the ASI here. Um, can they all just play together? Is it Darwinian? There might be some Darwinian element to it. Um, I mean, it's, let's it's, look on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> let's look on the bright uh, side of life. I bring Brock out to, 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 um, to speak to us again. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, it, there's just, just going to be a lot of intelligence. Yes. Like a lot. Uh, I mean, now we're, now we're now the ratio of human, I mean, human intelligence, um, all of a sudden asymptotically falls to 0% on the planet. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. Um, I mean, several years ago I said humans are the biological bootloader for digital super intelligence. Yes, we are a transitional, <laughs> we're a transitional species.